Hello, welcome to X2 Photography. Uh, my name is Daniel. A um, couple of days ago, I got my telescope back from Telescope Service. Uh, they have exchanged the secondary mirror. I'm going to test it out, but first some collimation, and I also need to balance the whole rig um, so that the mount is uh, working flawlessly. I have been getting uh, some questions about the concenter eyepiece. So this episode is all about this one, the concenter eyepiece, which has helped me a lot uh, when I am uh, adjusting and centering the secondary mirror in my telescope. Before we um, head out to the observatory and try to um, center the secondary under the focuser, I want to explain it a bit more schematic. So I open up my PowerPoint and what we want to do is uh, we put in the concenter eyepiece into the focuser and the main goal now is to center the secondary mirror under the focuser. And I am also uh, getting one question regarding, well, the reflection looks kind of odd. It looks like my secondary is off center. Well, yeah, that's basically uh, is why um, the secondary mirror is off center. It's mounted, if, if you can see here, the main, uh, the, the threads that goes through the secondary uh, holder is right here and you can see that the mirror is shifted in this case um, well in all cases where the secondary is mounted with an offset this is offset uh, from the focuser so the offset is pointing in the opposite way from the focuser um, but I will illustrate um, how it might look like um, when you are um, centering the secondary mirror under the focuser. So first of all um, I want to begin with explaining uh, the red circles is representing the uh, concenter eyepiece and of course it's more circles but you get an ID I've just painted two circles here and the silver part here uh, is supposed to be the mirror and um, in this case it is set up as a perfect centered secondary under the focuser but if the secondary mirrors um, uh, too much towards the primary mirror uh, it will look like this and I am exaggerating quite a lot now but you get the idea so the red rings aka the concentric eyepiece uh, is fixed in the focuser and we are now adjusting the secondary mirror so and this is how it would look like when the secondary mirror is um, uh, too much uh, away from the primary mirror so we want to get that aligned just like well something like this but how does it look like uh, when we have a rotation error on the secondary um, let's have a look um, if it's slightly rotated it might look like this and I am exaggerating quite a lot now um, it's looking elongated and what you want to do is rotate the uh, secondary mirror so it corresponds to the concentric lines I know 
it looks um, very easy when I'm explaining this in the computer uh, but believe me uh, you will get a hang of this and I love this eyepiece um, it gets the secondary mirror aligned within a couple of minutes I truly love this uh, this eyepiece this collimation tool for uh, centering the secondary so let's head out to the observatory and take a look uh, at how it looks like in the real life. The main goal now is to center the secondary mirror um, along the axis of the tube so it's uh, centered right under the focuser. The other thing we want to check is um, the rotation of the secondary mirror which is also uh, quite visible when you are using the concentric eyepiece. So um, this is going to be uh, quite hard to show you on camera how it looks like. I will try. But basically what I am doing is I'm putting the concentric eyepiece inside and I am adjusting the focal uh, point so that the rings on the concentric eyepiece um, is very close to the outer edge of the secondary mirror um, by doing this um, it gets a lot easier to determine if the uh, secondary mirror is aligned or not so when you are checking in this one um, I'm checking that first of all that the secondary mirror is um, correct position under the focuser in along the tube axis so it uh, isn't too close to the primary mirror or too far out um, but this looks like um, it's quite good I have already done this it's like a cooking show like when you have prepared the meal like whatever uh, I will try to um, get a view through this small hole with a camera um, to show you how it looks um, in real life um, I am actually shooting this uh, video with my iPhone right now but this is the view through the concentric eyepiece um, and in the foreground you can clearly see the barrel uh, of the concentric eyepiece and then you have the circles which is uh, quite, uh, quite good the concentric circles and then we have the white um, uh, white big dot or circle uh, that is the secondary mirror you can also see the three mirror clamps which is good um, in the absolute middle you can see the hotspot mark from my primary mirror I will try to focus on that one quite difficult uh, is not going to succeed um, however you can clearly see how this is working um, it's quite hard to hold the camera in the middle there we go um, but you can clearly see the circles and the outer edge of the secondary and also in the middle you can see the offset of the you see the black uh, a, a little bit bigger circle that's the offset of the secondary mirror which I talked about uh, earlier um, and in the middle the hotspot mark from the primary mirror so this is how it looks like um, yeah there's not more to it really uh, quite simple if you like my channel please subscribe to it and you will get notified when I have uploaded some new videos